Welcome. Thank you. I haven't been on for a few weeks. I haven't been well. And um, I first, um, first off, I'll, I'll, I'll just say I'm Wendy B. Um, thank you. Welcome to Getting Unstuck with Wendy B. Um, I do these live videos um, hoping that I bring you value. And um, today I thought I would talk about this, um, you know, what do you do when your health unexpectedly um, diminishes and um, uh, and why I thought I would uh, talk on that is because there's so many of us that live on our own and um, you know it's different when you're you know in a family and you're together you know they know automatically that you're sick and hopefully they help you <laughs> but what do you do when you live on your own so um I am a transformational coach, and I'm just going to look at my notes. I don't memorize anything yet. I'm not comfortable enough to um, speak without notes, and hopefully I will after. Um, I'm fairly new to Facebook Lives. I've only been doing it for a little while. So I'm a transformational coach, and what I do is I work with your hidden barriers that keep you stop or stuck. I assert that our thoughts shape our actions and if you alter your thoughts or your perception you can alter your actions and if you alter your actions you can alter your world and you can be a lot more effective <laughs> so what i'd like you to do to engage in this facebook live um is make comments if something resonates um uh and, and it could be like yes uh uh, uh, or, you know, ouch, <laughs> whatever, you know, just make comments um, so that I know you have value. And a lot of people don't see Facebook Lives as they're live because they're, you know, not on the feed or whatever Facebook does. So it's really valuable to me and anybody um, uh, is that if you're watching um, the Facebook uh, replay, to make a comment too, because then we know we're bringing you value. I'm going to continue these, whether you make comments or not, but I would really appreciate the engagement because it just, just is really supportive, okay? Um, and I love it when you engage with me, and I'll try to catch it. I've, I've got to learn to speak and look and see if someone's engaged, all right? I just, like I say, I want to bring you value. And um, and I, I assert what keeps you stock, stop or stuck in your life is repetitive limiting beliefs that cause barriers in your life. And you're not even, um, you, you're frequently blind to them. So um, we're going to have a conversation around our health. What do you do to take care of, oh, hi, Joya. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, if you, I'd love for you to make a comment if something resonates, Joya. Uh, number one is, um, oh, hi, Samina. Thank you for watching. Uh, make a comment. Oh, good. Excellent. You did make a comment. Great. So um, let others know you're not well. And um, that's number one. And be in communication. You know, uh, so many times, especially when we're on our own, um, like I'm you know an entrepreneur I, I work on my own with clients <laughs> and uh, I watch my granddaughter so um, I as soon as I knew that I wasn't well I let my um, uh, two daughters know and I let my sister know so it's important to let people know because if, if an emergency arises they already prepared you've already let them know you're not well um, so um, my my question to you is to put in who could you let who could you let know you know just make a comment who could you let know especially if you're living on your own um and also when you make comments it helps other people who are watching it gives them ideas too so you're contributing to others as well um number 2 uh, make requests make powerful requests of neighbors friends loved ones you know at one point um because i got sick with the flu i had the flu for a couple of weeks and i didn't know i had the flu 
Um, I thought it was a cold at first, and I, um, I had my landlord doesn't take checks, he doesn't take e transfers, he wants cash. And at one point, it's like if my daughter wasn't willing to take me to the bank, I was going to ask my landlord to do it because <laughs> it became a problem for me. I was very ill and it was cold and wintry and I shouldn't be outside. So um, who can you make requests of? Um, you know, for me, it was like I had to make th three or four different requests over the three week period because I've just started being well now is... Um, I had to ask uh, to be uh, taken to the bank. I had to ask uh, for a certain food um, to be brought. Um, I had to ask for a heater to be brought to me because I was so cold. Um, so who, you know, <clears throat> and, and the question I want to ask you is, who here hates asking for help? <laughs> you know, um, make a comment. Um, who here is independent and doesn't want to be a burden? Like, I hate to be a burden to anybody. Um, so, you know, make a comment like, go, oh, ugh, or yeah, that's me, or what, ditto, whatever. So who could you ask for help? Please make a comment. All right. Number three, go to your doctor if necessary and follow doctor's orders. I called the doctor's office, explained what was going on, and they said there were so many people sick with the same symptoms and there wasn't really much they could do that I had to take liquids and if it got worse to come back but it 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 got worse and then it got better but it was a slow process a very slow process <laughs> three weeks and then um I had just been well for two days and I had a specialist appointment and um with my jaw and they had to do emergency surgery so I'm still not 100% but I can at least do my Facebook lives um, hard for me to concentrate with the pain so go to your doctor if necessary and follow doctor's orders and you might wonder you know you're on your own like I don't have a car it's a 10 minute walk uh, to the uh, bus and um and I wasn't well enough to be on the bus. So you could call a cab or you could call a friend. You know, make a comment who, who, how you would resolve that. Um, number four, sleep. You know, you need to sleep. It will heal you. And if you can't sleep, rest. You know, what I found is um, I had my body was aching. Um, I've been lying around for days. Um, so I found a hot water bottle and putting a pillow between my legs, um, you know, curving up like a little baby and putting a pillow between my legs and a hot water bottle at my back with a pillow holding that. And that really helped me because I wasn't well enough to even get in the bathtub. It was just like I could only sponge bath and, you know, I wasn't um, hardly eating. I was just drinking lots and lots of uh, hot water with honey and lemon. Uh, so what do you do to help you sleep or rest, especially when you're not well and you've been um, lying around for a while? Um, and and I, I want to ask this question and make a comment if you can. It's like, who felt guilty? Because uh, I felt guilty. You know, I, it felt, my sister's a therapist and thank God she called me several times. I didn't even, she would text me and say, do you want to talk? I didn't even want to talk for the first five or seven days. I didn't even want to talk, which is very rare for me. <laughs> and uh, I would text say, no, I don't want to talk. And uh, But she said, you know, sleep like you need to sleep. So that's what I did. Um, so put down what, you know, what you do to have you sleep, right? Um, number five is drink lots of liquids. And if possible drink lots of water because um, it's healing and um, uh, who my question to you is who here knows water helps um, like I said I drank lots of honey and uh, uh, hot water and lemon um, I, I was just off of all tea I, I'm a tea drinker I couldn't even stomach a cup of tea so what do you drink you know what what heals you you know could be broth. I, I, I drank broth too. Um, I make uh, homemade um, 
chicken broth and turkey broth and freeze it. So I, I drank lots of that. Um, and number six, and I'm quite sure there's a whole bunch of others, but I'm, I'm is I, I prioritize, but I couldn't even think. My head was pounding. I was coughing. I, and I had to cancel engagements. Um, I had to cancel my Facebook lives. I had to cancel my podcast. Um, there's a lot of courses I'm doing. I had to cancel everything. Uh, I had to cancel a couple of trips I had made. And I even had to cancel, um, um, you know, watching my granddaughter, which was really, really hard. Um, who here has had a hard time canceling engagements? And, um, and fortunately for me, the, the, the time that I was sick was a time where my, um, uh, uh, daughter's mother-in-law had taken holidays. And, um, so, cause we had no one to watch the granddaughter and, uh, we only let family watch her, um, won't go into details, but she was harmed in a daycare. So now we just let family watch her. And, um, fortunately, so she was taken care of. So I, that was really hard for me. And, and even now I'm not up to par. I'm not, um, you know, at the pace that I'm used to. I'm used to, um, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm used to doing it. And I've had to slow down and prior prioritize what I'm doing. And so who here has gone through that? But it was, it, it's the only way I can heal. And if I take on too much, it, it can come back. So I, I you know, I'm, I'm taking painkillers for my jaw and I, I need to be well. Um, you're no good to anybody if you don't take care of yourself. So, um, I'm just going to, um, continue here as I, and I'm going to look at my notes. I have no web page, but I've hired someone that's going to create a web page for me. So that's good. Um, like I said, I am a transformational solution coach. I'm a published author, um, a co-author with James Malachuk and a few others living your passions. I'm in the middle of self publish my book. I'm three weeks behind my schedule. Um, I need to create a team. So if anybody w would like to be on my team to help me publish this book on Amazon, I would love it. And what being on the team looks like is, um, I would send you an email, um, a little blurb about the book and you would put it on Facebook and um, send it to uh, your email list, if you would, um, people that you're comfortable with. Um, I promise you that my book, Getting Unstuck, um, 30 Ways to Bring uh, Clarity, Freedom, and Power, you could read one chapter and you will get value because there's questions at the end of each chapter. And um, so it's the type of book that you know, one chapter and you could get value. So you got 30 chapters. And what I'd love to give you is for making comments on, on whether it's the replay or the Facebook Live, um, I want to give you a 15-minute complimentary coaching session. Um, and during this session, we will discuss one obstacle that may be holding you back and provide steps that will guide and direct you to move you forward. Um, uh, I also have a podcast, Thriving at 60, uh, in over 30 different countries, and I have over 25,000 followers, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I assert, I am a stand for transformation. I assert if you alter your thoughts, you alter your actions. If you alter your actions, you alter your effectiveness in the world. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this gave you some value. And um, I will be on Facebook Live next week. Have a fabulous week. And thank you for participating on my Facebook Live. And don't forget, make comments on the replay if you're watching the replay because it brings value to me. And let me know if there's any topic that you would like me to discuss on my Facebook Lives. And I will consider it. Thank you and have a great Sunday.